Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, a full-time dentist. Today we will be talking about the difference between direct and indirect vocabulary. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. For an indirect pulp capping, as the name suggests, it's indirect. So a carrier's lesion approaches the pulp tissue, but pulp exposure does not occur. Here is a peripical image showing the radiolucency is close to the pulp. So if you remove the carriers, you will see that pulp exposure will not happen. Now, in order to know whether the treatment is direct or indirect pulp capping we need to remove the carriers fully and then if there is pulp exposure it will be direct pulp capping if not then it will be indirect pulp capping whereas for direct pulp capping the pulpal tissue is exposed and a medication will be placed over the exposure in order to protect the pulp so that we don't need to proceed with root canal treatment MTA or calcium hydroxide, which is dicol, plays as a medication because it has a favorable outcome. Now, as you can see from the parapical image, the tooth number 47, lower second molar, has a filling that is on the pulp itself. So, if you try to remove the filling, of course, pulp exposure will happen for sure. Thank you all for watching my video. If you enjoy, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down for any questions you have, and subscribe for more videos. Goodbye.